SpaceClaim represents a new category of engineering software that can streamline your business in several areas. In a nutshell, SpaceClaim is the easiest and fastest way for non-CAD experts to create and modify 3D concepts. Let's look at its impact in the area of simulation-driven product development. So, let's say Ed in engineering has an idea. Hey, if we make this plastic chair half as thick, we'd save a boatload on material and shipping costs. I wonder if it would still be strong enough, though. I should get one of the FEA guys to simulate that. So, Ed approaches Frank, the FEA specialist. Hi, Frank. Can you see if this chair would break if we made it half as thick? I need it to handle a 350-pound man. Sure. Where's the model? Well, talk to Chad over in CAD. He owns the current drawing. Hi, Chad. The engineers want me to simulate this chair at half the material thickness. Can you send me the 3D model of that? Uh, sure, but I'm on a deadline to finish up production drawings for the X350. I could probably get that out to you next week. Okay, thanks. Oh, and can you simplify it for me, too? You know, get rid of small holes, rounds, fillets, etc. It's got to be defeatured a bit in order for my FEA tool to handle it. Sure, no problem. Hey Frank, here's that chair model that you were asking for. Sorry, we had some BT-09s fail out in the field last week, and I got pulled off to cat up some changes to fix them. Okay, thanks. Were you able to simplify it too? I think so. I took off a lot of the rounds like you asked. So now Frank goes off to run his FEA simulation. Unfortunately, the CAD model still has all kinds of tiny details. After burning a day trying to make it work, he goes back to Chad from CAD. Hey Chad, I can't really use that model you gave me. I need you to remove all the fillets and rounds. <sighs> Alright, I'm super busy, but give me a couple days and I'll see what I can do. Finally, Frank and FEA gets the model in a form that he can analyze. Nope, that isn't going to work. No way this chair will support a 350 pound guy. He heads back over to Ed in engineering. Ed, I got you some results on that chair project you gave me last month. Bad news, it's not going to work. Uh, I just assumed you weren't going to do that. I mean, I asked for it six weeks ago. We just ended up paying for some soft tooling and a short run of prototype parts to test it out for real. I'm expecting those to arrive next week. You saying they're going to fail? This sounds silly, right? Well, trust me, it's a very common workflow. Here's what this workflow looks like with space claim in the mix. Hey, I wonder if we could cut this chair thickness in half. First, let me just rough out what that would look like in space claim. I'm so glad we bought space claim because I wouldn't even know where to start with this in our CAD tool. But I can just open the original CAD model right inside SpaceClaim for some concepting. Hey, look at that. Just eyeballing it, it doesn't really look like I cut the material thickness in half. Nice. Hey Frank, I've had an idea to cut material costs on this chair design. Can you just see if it would still hold up to, say, a 350 pound guy sitting on it? Sure thing. Where's the model? Well, you can get the original model from Chad over in CAD, or you could use my space claim version which shows the new material thickness idea. Oh, just shoot me your space claim model. <sighs> these guys always leave in all the tiny manufacturing details in these models. Well, at least I can quickly simplify it myself in space claim using these sweet cleanup tools. It's like magic. Nice, that should do the trick. Now, let's run this baby in my FEA tool. Nope, that'll definitely break if a big dude sits on it. Let me try just trimming a third of the thickness instead of the full half. I sure am glad we bought space claim, because I'd have no idea how to do this in our CAD tool. Yep, that works. Hey Ed, you know that chair project you asked me about yesterday? Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is it'll definitely break at half the material thickness. The good news is, I tried trimming just a third of the thickness off, and that would work. Wow, that was fast. Thanks, Frank. Let me run it over to the CAD guys and start the process of properly documenting this and getting it out to manufacturing. So, in this scenario, injecting space claim into the workflow took the process from over seven weeks down to one day. 
an expensive round of prototyping and testing was avoided, and there was enough time to fail and still come up with a better solution. As a side benefit, Spaceclaim allowed the company to get a much bigger return on the sunk costs already invested in its existing CAD and FEA tools. All workflows are different, and the role of Spaceclaim will grease the wheels for different customers in different ways. If you'd like to discuss how Spaceclaim could impact your process, just contact me here. Thanks for watching.